Hey everyone, welcome to AFS Hackers. My name is Afshan and in this video, we are going to launch a WordPress website on light sale service like Amazon light sale. So in our previous video, we have launched a Windows virtual machine in Amazon light sale. Now we are launching a WordPress website. So let's click on this and and as you guys know, Amazon light sale is one of the easiest ways to get started with AWS. It offers virtual servers, storage, database and networking uh, plus a cost effective and monthly plan. And in this tutorial, we will learn how to launch and configure a WordPress instance on LightSale. And uh, it includes steps to connect to your instance by using SSH, sign into your WordPress website, create a static IP address and attach to it your instance and create a DNS zone and made it to your instance and it is a beginner friendly exercise and uh, time to complete is 10 minute requirement is aws account obviously and uh, we need to have the latest version of chrome or firefox so i have already logged in to my aws account and here is the light sale service you can search it in the search bar that is light sale click on it okay so this is the ui of light sale we have instances containers databases like we can launch huh? we can create databases we can we can create a static ip distribution like cdn that is content delivery network we can also create the dns zone and we will also create load balancers here is storage uh, we can create our bucket and disk and it has a very cool feature that is snapshot currently we don't have any snapshot here so let's click on the instances click on create instance like we have instance location You are creating this instance in Mumbai zone A and uh, we can also change the region and availability zone. So let me click on it. So I'm in India, so I'm using Mumbai. Uh, you should pick a region that is close to you. Change the availability zone. I am happy with the zone A, AP South 1A. And we have to pick the instance image and we are installing the WordPress, right? So we will go with the Linux image and we also have Microsoft Windows. In our previous video, we have launched the Windows of Windows Server 2019. In this video, we are launching the Linux operating system. Now we have to select a blueprint and uh, we have apps plus OS that is application plus OS and we also have this os only option so we'll go with the apps plus os uh, because we need wordpress right so select wordpress light sale has different application that uh, nginx redmine django lamp node.js we'll see the lamp in our next video let's see the next like you can add a shell script that will run on your instance the first time it launches and uh, you will connect to your instance using the wordpress ssh key so i have created this wordpress instance uh, wordpress key uh, change the ssh key pair we can create the new one like if you don't have the key you can you just have to click on this create new and you just have to create uh, click on this create button and write the key pair name i'm using my wordpress key and here is the cool feature that is automatic snapshots create a backup image of your instance and attach disk on a daily schedule so if you are working in company as a aws administrator so you make sure that you click on this uh, but i'm not clicking on this right now because I, obviously i don't have any important data it is for the practice purpose so i'm using the ten dollar plan because it has 2 GB and 1 CPU.
next we have identify your instance so i am happy with the name a wordpress one and we can also tag like key value tag okay so server is server name it's wordpress so let's create the instance It is in the pending state right now and it will take maybe two to three minutes to be in a running state so let's wait so it's in a running state so let's connect on this uh, quick ssh connect icon so here we are we have connected with ssh now we have to retrieve the application password right so let's write ls and we have Two files bitnami application passwords nothing is there let's write cat bitnami credentials so we have the default username and password is user and the password is this so let's copy the password copy no single quotes so it is our wordpress password and the username is user okay now we have to copy the public ip and Pasted here WordPress login.php. It is the site that continue to site and it is a WordPress login page. So let's write user and the password is this. Copy it login. Okay, so we have successfully logged into our WordPress that is great now we have done this so we have done the fourth step that uh, that is you know, sign in the administrator administration dashboard of your wordpress website we have done that we have already logged in now we have to create a light sale static ip address and, and attach it to your wordpress instance so basically the default public ip for your wordpress instance changes like our public ip address will be changed if we stop or start our instance so let's attach a static ip address so what we have to do go to your go to the networking tab okay and here we have public ip and the private ip in public ip you can see that there is a create static ip link so you just have to click on it and attach to an instance identify your static ip attaching static ip address replaces that instance dynamic ip addresses okay we don't have any problem with that uh, identify your static IP. I am happy with this name. So let's create. So this is going to be our public static IP address. Copy it. VP login dot PHP continue to site now we have to sign in again and here is the password copy it and paste it here let's log in so this this was our dynamic ip now 
we are we have to stick with our static ip because we don't want this ip address to change if we stop our instance so this will be our ip address now let's create some post first let's see all post okay we have hello world and title let's create a new post add new so i will copy this and uh, we'll write some text okay make it bold and let's publish it uh, visibility public okay this is for demo purpose view the post click on it launch and configure a wordpress instance with amazon light sale okay now what we have to do next like we have created the static ip address right this particular step is completed okay now let's create a light sale dns zone and map a domain to your wordpress instance so i have a domain that is cybersophie.com here is my domain so first we have to create the dns zone okay go to the light sale so click on this networking tab and we have created the static ip now let's create a dns zone now we are mapping our domain name to our wordpress site so our domain is cyber cybersophie.com like i have already registered this domain okay let's create the dns zone now we have to add a record okay and uh, we have in the subdomain box enter add the rate symbol to map the apex of your domain such as example.com and resolve to box choose the static ip address so let's go to the dns zone and add a record and here we will write the add symbol and here we will select our static ip and click on this icon green icon and just copy the name servers go to your domain service provider and click on this manage dns go down and you will see that name server so we have to change these servers okay to map our uh, domain with this wordpress site we have to change our domain we have to change our name servers here so i'm going to change it here we have two options connect my domain to a website i have built or enter my own name servers so click on it paste it here second one is this copy it add another name server copy it last one okay save and name server update changing name servers is risky and and could potentially lead to your website disappearing from public view so it is for the demo purpose so 
I'm okay with that. Continue. Name server update. Okay. So we have added our name servers here. Let's go to the cybersophie.com. Okay, continue to site. And yes, we have configure our domain with our WordPress, right? This is our last post that launch a con launch and configure a WordPress instance with Amazon Light Sale. And here is a second post that is a default post that is Hello World. Okay, cool. So yes, we have the seventh step is clean up. So let's go to the so here we are let's delete the resources click on this amazon light sale and we have this wordpress instance running click on this four, three dot and click on delete yes and go to the networking we have also created the dns zone so click on this three dot delete yes delete and we have also created this static ip so click on this three dot and click on delete make sure you are deleting the resources go to the snapshot no we haven't enabled the snapshot feature so there is no snapshot created instances you have no instances right now great so congratulations you have used amazon light sales to launch and deploy a wordpress instance and we have also configured our domain name with our wordpress site right so i hope you like this tutorial guys if you did then please share this video with your friends and your colleagues who are learning about aws and yes make sure that you guys are subscribing to my youtube channel we'll see you in my next video till then take care and keep learning Bye bye